outside the industry, they don't understand what is happening here today. And every Nigerian should be proud about this moment. This is all about Nigeria, so a day to celebrate indeed. day. It's one of the first flights ever to fly. What are you doing in the name of Jesus Christ? This is the air flight direct to London Gatwick, the Marvel flight. It is a great day to celebrate what we all love so much, aviation. Presenting Adachi Adressi at the inaugural flight of uh, Airpeace to Lagos, London, Gatwick. So I'm here with all the passengers. A lot of people have checked in, uh, expecting the big batteries to come, check in, they will start boarding. It's a wonderful moment for Airpeace for Nigeria at large and for the country. So Lagos direct to London. Air is all the way. Thank you. This is the Terminal 2 of Moritola Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, home to APIS Airlines International Flight Operation. So this is the check-in counter for the APIS London Gatwick inaugural flight. Nigerians are here to check in on the first flight. This is amazing. The airport is packed full. Arriving for the event is Pastor Skeyamo, the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development. Yes, the flight is full. Full business class, full first class and full economic cabin. This isn't just any flight. It is a historic moment for Nigeria. After seven years, seven good years, a Nigerian airline is once again flying to London, marking the end of exploitation and the beginning of a new era in aviation. Such a show of affection. So this is the arrival of the crew members for the flight. We have been waiting for this for the past seven years and finally it is happening today. One, two, three, and this One, two, three, London! And standing with this agent, you have the Vice President of APIS Airlines, Mrs. Alice Onyema, and Acting Director General of the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, Captain Najomo. I just want to say thank God for his manifestation, for his glory, for his love, for all that he has been doing and he's still doing. And I pray that he's going to do much, much more greater things for us in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. So may his name alone be glorified forever and ever. What's the expectation of the flight? Of course, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be one of the safest flights we've ever done to fly. So shall you be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. It's a very good development and we're excited about it. That's why we're here. We expect that Nigerians will have a new lease of life and that we'll begin to travel in comfort. And the affairs have crashed already, we've seen. So, you know, it's beginning of many good things to come. Thank you. Thank you, sir. From Minister of Aviation, Managing Directors to CEOs of leading airlines, the support for APIS is overwhelming. 
just to show how excited we are. In fact, we did dedicate a whole bridge to them. And they have made everything easy. In fact, AP starts checking and boarding at Terminal 2. There's no need to go to a Terminal 1. So you start your checking at Terminal 2 and then you board also at Terminal 2. They've made everything to be so easy. As fan, we will continue to support our Nigerian airlines and our flag carriers. We'll make sure that they have the necessary support. But um, again, I'm really excited about this and this is all about Nigeria. So a day to celebrate indeed. It's nice. Kudos to Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. These are the things they have refused to do for them, you know, before before. Hi, hi. Hi, Adache. <laughs> Thank you for organizing this. And we just spoke this morning. We are here. I'm going to do a video of the aircraft and you will get to see it live. My media team are here, so they've been doing snapshots, interviews of everything that has been going on so far. And you are sure to get it very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mom. We've seen what they've been in Nigeria, and so we can only trust they will do better on the international routes. Um, as for the ticket, the ticket is affordable. I'm flying business class and if you compare it to business class from other airlines, it's like one third of what you pay for others. So we need to actually support our own. Nigerians need to support our own. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the Nigerian cuisine? Oh yeah, I'm looking forward. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Nigerian cuisine. Maybe jello fries and all the <laughs> but I'm not going to do it by this time. <laughs> yeah. Yes, You're I'm watching your weight. Yes, I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Now let's take a closer look at this historic flight brimming with excitement and anticipation. The star of the show is the Boeing 777-200 Extended Range, named after APIS Airlines Chairman Dr. Ellen Ifechufu Unema, stands tall on the tarmac, ready to carry the hopes and dreams of a nation. So the aircraft information, I'm going to leave it on the screen for you to see. The name of the aircraft is Ife Chuku. It is a Boeing 777-200 extended range. Registration number 5 November, Bravo Victor Echo. Flight number is P47578. Lagos to Gatwick, you have 12 first class. 4 to 1 business class passengers, 208 economy passengers, plus 4 infants, making a total of 260 passengers on board. You have 14 crew members, 12 cabin crew, 2 pilots. The 777-200 extended range is a great product, having a larger fuel capacity than most, if not all, twin jets. It is an incredible aircraft. This is a short flight, actually, for this type of aircraft. It is a 14 to 15 hours flight aircraft, and this particular one is an extended range, so it slightly takes you further than the regular 777-200. Fantastic aircraft. This aircraft carries 135 tons of fuel. Trust me, it is a lot of fuel. Well, as one of the most advanced aircraft in APC's fleet, it's perfectly suited for this historic journey. Meanwhile, back inside the terminal. APC's our own. Now we get out. Now we get run first time I'm witnessing travel agents do this. Wow, so nice. They are excited to market Flygeria. This is new journey, new beginning. Uh -huh. e, 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 C, and e. 
people outside the industry, they don't understand what is happening here today. This is very significant. Beyond passenger comfort, we are going to have, of course, competitive prices on the international roads. Very competitive prices. You are seeing that already. Other airlines have opened up their lower fare tickets to Nigerians now because Allen has come in like a bull. This is a very bullish approach to breaking the monopoly on this route. For so many years. Even for anything, I feel fulfilled today. My happiness is not about me, but it brings joy to my heart that I've been able to touch the lives of my countrymen and women. What makes me proud today is the fact that we've been able to prove to the outside world that we as Nigerians are very resilient. We love ourselves, forget our differences. When the time is ripe, we show the world the stuff we are made of. And every Nigerian should be proud about this moment. I encourage all Nigerians to be very patriotic, to support them. They always have to remember, we all have to remember that this is our own Nigerian aircraft. And any ticket bought on Airpiece signifies trading, it signifies investment, it signifies belief in ourselves, in what we can do as Nigerians, in our culture, in our heritage. And it also shows to us, to all Nigerians, that we are proud to be Nigerians. Epis over the years has been very supportive of Nigerians, ensuring that they are there when there is crisis. Whenever there is crisis, you see Epis is there. And if Epis can continue to make inroads, supporting Nigerians, in, even into countries that they didn't have established trading routes or flying routes because of the humanitarian crisis at that point. It only makes sense that we should encourage them when they actually then make trading routes or flying routes into established destinations. What a giant stride. Leading the way is Dr. Allen Onyema himself, walking alongside the cabin crew with pride and determination. His presence underscores the significance of this momentous occasion. Meanwhile, decked out in their vibrant Isiagi uniform, the cabin crew optimizes elegance and professionalism. This distinctive uniform, first introduced on APC's international route to Sharjah, reflects the airline's commitment to Nigerian culture and excellence. I feel somewhere you will never see so much of the country coming together with pride to celebrate aviation history like this. And you also will never see patrons get so excited and harmoniously come together to commemorate such an occasion. This is one of the best moments in Nigeria's travel history as well as aviation as a whole. And I can't wait to see how APIS earns a new reputation in the aviation industry. Finally, the ceremony at the terminal has ended and passengers have gone through security and then for first and business class passengers, they headed towards the lounge. For some of you that are interested in knowing the lounge that APIS Airlines will be using, yes. it is Atelier Lounge. It's a very beautiful lounge. They even have a Moet and Chandon bar. The lounge is at Terminal 2. Usually, there's nothing to critic on inaugural flight because it's always a celebration. I've reviewed this particular aircraft several times on my program, so you can check out some of my videos if you're interested, okay? I've been doing Zobo in Airbus, the first inaugural flight of Airbus to London, Zobo. Not the champagne, local blue Zobo. This is what it's all about, eh? <laughs> You have the CEO of United Nigerian Airlines. He actually flew with them, and I like the fact that the minister went with them to London. It shows commitment, and it's also sending a message that the government is fully behind a Nigerian career. So it is a big statement, and I'm loving it. With the aircraft taxi for takeoff, excitement reaches fever peak. This is the inaugural flight of Airbus, direct to London Gatwick. The journey ahead symbolizes not only a new chapter for APs, but also a significant milestone for Nigerian aviation. As the wheels leave the ground, a sense of pride fills the air. Amazing! A 
therapist is not just flying to London, it's soaring to new heights, paving the way for a brighter future in the sky. This is the new journey, the new beginning. With all the goodwill, support, I pray that Nigeria can regain its lost glory. Lots of love to APs, huge Sussex awaits them. It is a joyful moment to see APs take this first big step. Congratulations, APs, for breaking barriers and taking Niger to the world. The aviation community is backing you to keep growing and going places. This was a really a proud moment and I'm really happy APs was able to reach new heights. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you princess. Thank you so much for standing in for me. Thank you Susan Chinedu and Nji and to all the people, everybody that sent in videos, clips for me. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye bye. It's such a beautiful, gorgeous uniform. I love the uniform, bright colors, great for photos.